Okay, chapter four, cheater pants. It's still dumb Monday. Dear first grade journal, right now it is recess. I am not playing on the playground. Instead, I am sitting at my desk and I'm waiting to get yelled at. I wish I could disappear into thin hair. If I could disappear, I would run outside and I would find May and I would clunk her in the head. I wish I didn't even sit next to that girl because people should never leave homework on their desk for other people to borrow. That is just asking for trouble, mister. From Junie B, first grader. Hmm, doesn't sound like Junie B has learned her lesson about borrowing from other people. Let's see what happens. Mr. Scary was writing at his desk. He looked up and called my name. Junie B, he said, I'm ready for you now. Could you bring your chair up here, please? My stomach flipped and flopped. Cause here came the yelling part, that's why. I did some deep breaths. Then I pulled my chair to the front of the room and I sat down next to him. Mr. Scary took my homework paper out of his drawer. He said in front of me, very serious. I want you to explain this, Junie B, he said. I want you to tell me exactly why you copied May's homework this morning. I tried to swallow, but nothing went down. Um, well, let's see. The reason I copied was, was, I tapped on my chin. Then, all of a sudden, I thought of it. Daddy, I said, it was my daddy's fault. My teacher looked surprised at that answer. Your daddy, he said. Your daddy told you to copy May's homework? Yes, I said. I mean, no, I mean, last night I wanted to stay up late to do my homework, but daddy turned out my light. And so he is the reason that I had to come to school without it. Oh, I see, said my teacher. Your daddy wouldn't let you stay up, so that's what forced you to copy May's paper. I nodded real fast. Yes, I said, that's exactly it. Mr. Scary raised his eyebrows. So, did May actually give you her paper to copy? He asked next. I rolled my eyes at that crazy question. No, silly. May would never be that nice, I said. It's just that this morning she kept on bragging about how her homework is always an A+. And then she left the paper on top of her desk when she went to the main office. And that is just asking for trouble, mister. Mr. Scary leaned back in his chair. Ah, he said. So when May left for the office, you saw her paper and you just decided to borrow it, I said. I decided to borrow it to copy. My teacher did a frown. Borrow, he said. No, Junie B, I'm sorry, but borrow is not the right word here at all. When you copy someone else's paper, that's called cheating. My eyes got big and shocked at that word, because what was he even talking about? No, Mr. Scary, no, I didn't cheat, I didn't, I said. Cheating is when you steal answers off of someone's test. But homework isn't a test, homework doesn't even count, hardly. Oh, but homework does count, Junie B, he said back. Cheating is not just about stealing test answers. Cheating is any time you take someone else's work and you present it as your own. He looked at me. When you cheated this morning, you broke my trust in you, Junie B, he said. We have a rule about this in room one. So how is Mr. Scary feeling about Junie B right now? He's feeling very disappointed and you're probably a little sad because do you think Junie B should have been cheating? No, she shouldn't have been cheating. I've had to talk to some students before, right? And what do I always tell you guys? You need to do your own work. I wanna know what's in your brain, not in someone else's. We kept our eyes on our own papers. You've heard me say that a hundred times, I bet. I felt surprised at that information. That's a rule? I said, no kidding. I always thought that was, well, 
you know, just a suggestion. Mr. Scary rolled his eyes. No, Junie B, it's not a suggestion. It's definitely a rule, he said. And it's an important rule, too. I drummed my fingers on the desk. Well, I'll be darned, I said. Whew, after a while, I did a deep breath. I'm sorry, I said real soft. Mr. Scary smiled a little bit. I'm sorry too, Junie B, he said. But at least now I think we understand each other better. I will not put up with cheaters in my classroom. I did a wince. Yeah, only I wish you wouldn't keep saying that cheater word, I said, because I didn't even know I was cheating hardly. Plus, I don't like cheaters either, Mr. Scary. On account of my daddy cheated me at Old Maid last week, and I am still not over that terrible experience. Mr. Scary wrinkled his eyebrows. Your daddy cheated, he said. <sighs> I did a sigh. Yes, I said, daddy raised the Old Maid way high in his hand so I would pick her. And then I did. And so what kind of sneaky trick was that? Mr. Scary covered his mouth. He was shocked, I believe. I leaned closer to him. And Daddy is not the only cheater pants in my family either. I said very quiet. On account of my grandpa Frank Miller is supposed to be on a diet. But yesterday, my grandma found an empty pie pan in his closet. And all that was left was a little bit of crust and a plastic fork. I thought for a second. Hmm, no wonder I cheated, I said. Cheating is in my blood, apparently. Mr. Scary did a chuckle. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect, he said. Everyone cheats on a diet once in a while, I think. But cheating at school is a very different matter, Junie B. Cheating in school is serious business. Are we clear on that now? I nodded real fast. Clear, I said. After that, both of us shook hands, and Mr. Scary carried my chair back to my desk. After I sat down, he took an envelope out of his pocket, and he handed it to me. I wrote a note to your parents explaining what happened this morning, he said. Uh-oh, guys, a bad note. I would like them to read it and sign it, okay? You can bring it back to me in the morning. <gasps> I did a gasp at that thing. No, Mr. Scary, not okay, I said. Please don't make me take a note home, please. I really, really don't want to take a note. Mr. Scary thought for a second. Then he took the note back. Well, okay, he said. If you feel that strongly, I won't, ma I won't make you take it. He started walking back to his desk. I'll just call them tonight instead, he said. Oh, I did a loud groan. Because what kind of dumb choice is that? I stomped to his desk and I grabbed back the note. Then I stuffed it into my backpack and I sat down at my desk and I wrote in my journal one more time, Mr. Scary is a tattletale. All right, guys, join me next time. Let's see what happens when she takes the note home. Thank you.